Hello people, I'm Ginny Metherill and I am your local fourth generation witch. Today's video is shot outside so forgive the camera audio quality, I'm not sure it's going to be that good, but we're going to look at flower witchcraft and I'm going to show you a simple recipe slash spell that you can do with any edible flower to ensure that you gain all the energies that you need from that particular bloom. This video was inspired because yesterday I went round an old priory which I'd never noticed in Exeter. I happened to be passing by its door and was like, it's open, it's there, I've never seen it. It was one of the most beautiful medieval buildings that I have seen in a long time. What particularly inspired me was being in the kitchen and learning a bit about the herbs and the craft that they used in order to make the medicines of their day. And so I thought I'd try and share a little of that witchcraft because it was with you. I've come to this rather beautiful lake just behind me, as you can see, which is just around the corner from me because I'm after a particular plant which grows in boggy ground as it likes wet feet. And that is meadowsweet. Meadowsweet is one of the strewing herbs, meaning that you put them on the floor so when you walked upon them, the sweet scent of their blooms would be lifted up into the atmosphere. A drink made from meadowsweet was considered to be a love potion and the flowers were strewn on the floor during hand fastings. Should you wish to talk to fairies or acquire the gift of second sight, a good sniff of meadowsweet flowers will grant your wishes. One of the sacred herbs of the Druids. I'm not having any luck finding it anywhere here. I do know where it is though. One trusty basket later, let's go. When picking flowers, do go out at high noon on a sunny day, as this is when they're at their most potent. I'm not having much luck, however, I have found some wild mint, one of the sacred herbs of the Druids, along with meadowsweet. This would make an equally wonderful cordial which improves virility and reinvigorates the soul. Still no meadowsweet, but isn't Devon looking beautiful today? Finally, I find some in a ditch, which is its favourite place to grow, and I pick enough for this recipe. Ensure that whatever flowers you have chosen, they are all edible and you will need between 20 and 25 stems per recipe. You must pick over the stems without washing them, making sure there's no insects and cut off the stalks because these can be bitter. Citric acid is a preservative and flavour enhancer and you need 55 grams. You will also need a kilo of sugar and four lemons, which you are going to thinly slice. It couldn't be easier really, simply dump all the ingredients into a large saucepan. Pour on 1.5 litres of just boiled water from a kettle. Stir until all the sugar is dissolved and then leave in a cool dark place covered, stirring morning and night for three days. There are so many flowers that you could do this with, but here is yarrow, the witch's herb. It would help with insomnia amongst many other issues, and I thoroughly recommend. For all of you who miss Ginny Metherill, whilst I'm not on air, you can always go to my blog at ginnymetherill.co.uk or come and join the coven. This really is a treat for anybody new, improving and experienced witches alike. I promise you, you will learn more in one session of a coven meeting with me than you will in any online witchcraft course that you can find. Go to patreon.com forward slash Ginny Metherill for all the details. Hopefully, I'll see you there. Please don't forget to like and subscribe because it really helps my channel. And I will see you in a few days. <laughs>